All right, everybody, I've got Andrea here. Our last uh, video on the, basically the smoothie that we did. Um, everyone loved that so much, I thought, let's just put another one together here. This is actually something that uh, she really likes herself. She made them, I think they're awesome as well too, but um, she said, let's put, do a video of this. So I brought her here and she's gonna take us through basically just a few things here. One, uh, what they are. Two, the ingredients in them. And three, kind of how you put it all together in there as well as uh, maybe a couple other things about uh, what she likes most about them. So take it away, Andrea. All right, guys. First, uh, shout out to Kristen. Thank you for this recipe. Um, so in my bowl here, I have four scoops of muscle gain from Advocare. Um, I use vanilla. A lot of people use chocolate, just your preference. I've got one cup of quick oats one cup of natural gif that's also just my preference and then in here i'm going to add half a cup of raw unfiltered honey in with all of that together how big is the bowl you got all this stuff in then i mean um it's just the medium size there came in a set of three like baking bowls it's the medium one it's just a plastic bowl yes um, I use a little Pam on my hand just because when I mix it, it gets really sticky with the honey. So That's a trade secret right there, folks. <laughs> I just mix it with my hand, so I just kind of mash it all together, try to get it mixed up as good as I can. This part's kind of nasty. I'm sure there's other methods. but. And, and with this, how many of these little protein balls can you make? Um, I make them by hand. So typically it makes around 15. They're not exact every time, but it's usually pretty close to that, so. And from start to finish, like with all the ingredients and things like that, how long does it typically take to make them? Uh, maybe like 10 minutes or so. So it's pretty simple. Yes, very simple. So, I'm almost mixed up here. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like after it's all mixed up together, if you can kind of see that. Just kind of like a big... Like almost like cookie dough? Yes, it's just stickier. So after that, I have a cookie sheet here on the counter, just a regular old baking cookie sheet. And all I'm gonna do is just take clumps of it and just make them into little balls. Again, like I said, I make them by hand, so it's not always exact, but just however big or small you want them. Put them on the cookie sheet. I won't go through all of them just to save a little time, but we get the idea. After I make all of them, I put them in the fridge just on the cookie sheet. I let them chill for probably 15 or 20 minutes, and then I typically put them in a Tupperware container. Um, I put them in a Tupperware because that way it's more work for me. I don't just keep eating them because it's really hard for me to eat just one at a time because I like them so very much. They are very good. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple, pretty healthy. Kids love them. One of my best friends feeds them to her kids and they love them. So it's a good, good healthy snack for your kids, good protein. How many grams of protein do you think is in one cookie? Oh. Or... Uh, or I figured it out once. So two scoop or four scoops would be 260 divided by about 15. So whatever that is. Plus a little bit of protein from the peanut butter as well yes. too. So you're probably looking at, I don't know, 12 to 15 grams of protein per, per cookie at that point in time. So um, that, like she said, very healthy snack. A lot of good nutrient content with it. Easy to make, easy to carry. That's the one thing I like as well too. Is like I can put it in a in a sandwich baggie and take it with me as well too. And those of you that are dessert freaks, which Andrea likes her desserts, this is a great way to give you yourself that that uh, dessert taste without the dessert guilt that goes along with it. So, like I said. Um, Good thing for not just an adult, but also for kids as well too, if you guys are looking for some easy snacks to have, as well as not just easy, but also healthy at the same time. Anything else you want to add? Nope, that's it. Make them, enjoy them. They're one of my favorite treats, so. Do you, have yeah. you named them yet? 
No, because I got the recipe from Kristen, so I can't steal it. All right. Give credit where credit is due. So Kristen's protein cookie balls. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, guys.